All right, so just in case you didn't know, there are levels to the freight broker business. Yes, the whole idea is to start off small and grow our business big, to start off on a lower level and work our businesses to the higher levels. That's what it's all about. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm required every three months to pay a fee just to do business here in the United States. And I welcome that fee. I'm going to go into that and show you and explain to you why. But the reason why you are not paying that fee and you are a freight broker is because you haven't come into the knowledge of that fee just yet because you are at the level that you are. What I want to help you to do is to advance your levels. You don't want to stay where it is that you currently are. You want to keep moving up. So the idea is to come into the knowledge that you don't already have and you don't have the knowledge of this fee that you should be paying every three months. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to bring you into the knowledge. I'm going to bring you up a level. And although you're not here yet, when you get here, it won't be a place that's unfamiliar to you. So come on inside, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Now let's get down into the business. So to make this simple, we're going to explain it in two levels. Level one is getting your business out of the gate, getting it moving, getting customers, starting to move loads. Level two, we're going to call. Now you've gotten to the point where you're starting to make money. Money is flowing in and out of your business. Cash is flowing. Not only there's cash flow, you're now making a profit. Where all there comes responsibility when profit comes into play. Now that you're making a profit, you have a silent partner that you may not have been aware of. And guess what? When you get paid, that silent partner get paid as well. Yes, your silent partner is charging you a fee. And you might say, what gives him the authority to charge me a fee? Here's a guy that I don't even know. He's not doing anything in the business. Why do I owe him anything? Well, I call it a luxury tax. And I call it a luxury tax because it's a luxury to do business here in the greatest economy, the greatest country in the entire world. That has to be an advantage. Now, sometimes we think that advantage might be free, but I want to let you know today that it's not free. We have to pay for that advantage. It comes in the form of that luxury tax, what is called quarterly tax payments. You see, Uncle Sam does not want to wait until the end of the year for you to give him his luxury tax. He wants it every three months or at least there are about. So now let's make no mistake about it. He's very specific in his instructions. He lets us know by payment schedule exactly how he wants to get his money. He says that by April 15th, I want my first payment postmarked. And then he says, I'll give you some time to start working again, start making your money back. And then June 15th, I want to get my second payment. And then he says, you go ahead and take your time and get that work to going again, start making some more money. And then he says, all right, now September 15th is when I want to see that third payment. And then he says, okay, now back to work, go ahead and get things organized, go ahead and enjoy your Christmas. And then January 15th, I want to get that fourth and final payment. So now some of us say, you know what, I'm not going to pay according to that schedule. I'm going to pay him how I can best pay him and I can best pay him at the end of the year. And he says, you know what? I don't want it that way, but I'll take it that way. But since you want to pay me like you want to pay me, I am going to charge you a penalty for paying me late. So if you want to pay that penalty, then you can pay it late. I don't suggest that you pay that penalty. I suggest that you pay every quarter like you're supposed to. And when you pay in your quarterly tax payments, then you are paying X amount of dollars every single quarter and you want to see that number go up. Why do you want to see that number go up? Because the more money you pay, the more money you're making. Now, of course, we want to make our taxes as low as possible. But at the same time, what we have to understand is you and I are not Warren Buffett. We have to pay taxes. That's what regular people do. We pay taxes. Small business owners, we pay taxes. So the more money you make, the more money you pay in taxes. So if we got a big number that we're paying in taxes, we're making more and more money. For example, you might start off your first year, you pay $1,000 every quarter. And then after that year has passed, that next year, now you're paying $2,500 a quarter. That means revenue is increasing. You're getting a bigger cut and Uncle Sam is getting a bigger cut. I'm okay with him getting his cut because guess what? Regardless of whether I'm okay with it or not, 
he's going to get it. So I just got to go out there and produce, be very productive so that I can take more home for myself. So now how do I know how much I'm going to have to give this guy? Is it just random? Do, is that something he decides? Is that something that I just decide on my own? Well, that's a very good question. What I do is I talk with my CPA. My CPA has me in a certain tax bracket based off of the money that I have made. And then what he does is he sets tax projections based off of income projections. So now remember that the quarterly tax that we're paying is an estimated quarterly tax payment. So that estimated quarterly tax payment is based off of estimated income. If it's lower, that means that I have to pay additional at the end of the year. If I've overpaid, then I can get some money back. Now, I don't want to overpay or underpay. I want to make sure that I'm about where I need to be. That way, we can have all of the taxes already settled, and at the end of the year, we're just basically filing the paperwork. And yes, there is a way to avoid this luxury tax altogether, and that's simply by not making any money or making money and then your expenses equal what you make. That means that let's, you have, let's say you have made $1,000 and then you have $1,000 in expenses, so you've made zero. Or you've made $1,000 and you have $1,500 in expenses, means that you lost $500. So in those instances, you don't have to pay the luxury tax because if you're not making a profit, there's no luxury tax involved. And of course, when I say luxury tax, I'm talking about Uncle Sam's, quarterly payments. But remember, we talked about earlier, we don't want to stay at the level that we're currently at. And a freight broker business that's not paying quarterly taxes, not paying that luxury tax that we spoke about, is usually because you're not making money or you're actually losing money. And that's certainly not a place that you want to maintain. That's a place that you want to graduate from as quickly as possible. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn more about the freight broker business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series titled How the Load Movement Process Works. It will give you a look into the freight broker business, let you see how it works before you decide to come into it. And then if you want to know more about how we go about talking to shippers, how we start to form our conversations, I'll leave a free link right here that's titled what we say to shippers. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.